Here are the Pacers for this evening's first race. Number one is Sweet Savannah, owned by the partnership of Brown and Brumbaugh. Jeff Nysonger drives. The two is Linda Linnell, owned by Charles Blankenship with Dave Hawk. Three is Val Bohm's Little Mo Ben and Jack Franklin. Four is Susie's Legacy, owned by Stephen Watkins. Jamie Dunlap is up. Five, Alma Hurst Savvy, owned by William Thomas and Sharon Renee Kirkwood with Bob Harper. The six is Face the Facts, owned by Boer and Boer, Kane Kaufman. Seven is out. The eight is Long Affair, owned by Cushing, Sawick, and Struck, Ron Cushing. The nine is Mapleview Oprah, owned by Connie Messler with Tony Rose. And off the second tier of the ten, Brett the Sam, owned by Timothy Dane Finley with Joe Adamski. Post time for race one is in seven minutes. The first race field is in the backstretch, and there they go. And they're off all the way to a good beginning. Face the facts, showing speed from the outside. Linda Linnell leaves nearest the rail. Long affair among the early contenders, and Sweet Savannah comes away in fourth. Little Mo Ben is fifth by two. Then we come to Brett the Sam in sixth. Susie's Legacy seventh. Alma Hurst Savvy is eighth, a length and a half farther back to the trailer. Mapleview Oprah as they round the turn to head stretch. And Ron Cushing and Long Affair are driving on to take command from Face the Facts. Linda Linnell is third, and Sweet Savannah is fourth. They're by the quarter in 28 and two, passing the stands for the first time. And Long Affair opens up a three length lead early on Face the Facts in second. Linda Linnell is third, followed by Sweet Savannah in fourth. Little Mo Ben along the rail is fifth. Susie's Legacy moving up on the outside sixth and now gets cover from Sweet Savannah who pulled out of the four hole. Moving up third over is Alma Hurst Savvy followed along the rail by Brett the Sam and three lengths farther back to Mapleview Oprah. Rounding the turn on their way to halftime up top it's Long Affair. Long Affair leads to the half in 58 seconds flat. Off the turn and down the back stretch, Long Affair by just over a length. Sweet Savannah has worked her way up in a second. Face the facts has gapped a length at the rail in third. Susie's legacy continues to gain steadily on the outside fourth. Linda Linnell is hemmed in at the rail in fifth. Alma Hurst Savvy on the outside is stalled in sixth, and that allows Linda Linnell to come to the outside. Little Mo Ben shoots the rail, shoots the gap at the rail, then three farther back to Brett the Sam and Mapleview Oprah. They're at the three quarters in one twenty-seven and two. Moving around to head stretch, it's Sweet Savannah taking over the lead and opening up by two lengths. Susie's Legacy takes up the chase in second. Linda Linnell comes into third. Long Affair drops back fourth, followed by Face the Facts and Alma Hurst Savvy as they turn into the stretch. And it's Sweet Savannah under the whip, leads it by two. Susie's Legacy chasing her second. Linda Linnell is third. In deep stretch, it's Sweet Savannah leading it. Susie's Legacy closing, but Sweet Savannah goes on to score by two lengths. Susie's Legacy second. A late rush for third, Little Mo Ben, 157 and two. That inquiry has no effect on the top four in the order of finish, one, four, three, five. One four exacta returns forty two dollars and eighty cents. The try one four three one twenty nine forty. Back in the winner's circle is Sweet Savannah. It's her second victory on the season. She scores in a lifetime best one fifty seven and two for Myron Brown, her trainer, and David Brumbar, her co owner of Arcanum, Ohio. Jeff Nysonger is the winning driver.